Welcome to Camping with Steve. On the ground, I'm finding a lot of these. You know what that means? Fall. And uh, it, it is not really all that cold yet, uh, considering how cold it does get. But the campground just cleared out. There is nobody here. I'm the only person in this entire loop. And that's strange, because this is the long weekend here coming up, and I would expect some people to have at least booked a site here and come out a day early or so. Anyhow, I'm just using uh, household stuff today. Uh, no gear at all. And we're gonna truly push the boundaries and explore the limits of just how little you truly need to go camping. The only thing uh, even closely resembling gear is just some mosquito coils. Uh, the rest of it, it's all just out of the house. So, I take the old chair from my entranceway, I'll set this up. stuff that's just stuff you have laying around your house. Now my house has a lot more camping stuff than most people's houses but I'm going with what most people would have uh, in their house or on their patio etc. So let's go camp. I've got this little beach lounger thing and uh, you know if it's good enough to lay back and fall asleep in the beach it'll surely do just fine in a camping situation. And. Uh, Okay, yeah, bed set up and good to go. Now I just gotta cover it with something in case it rains. So just rip the shower curtain off your shower and bring this with you, and that should uh, do just fine. We're gonna put up a string and then just throw it over top. It doesn't offer much privacy, uh, obviously, but when the sun goes down, uh, nobody will see anyhow. Better tighten up my string here. So I've seen a lot of tents in my life and this is a pretty sorry looking uh, contraption here. That'll work out okay. Tied up nice and secure. And then Alberta cluster knot, and that should not go anywhere, aside from the fact that the trees are so so tiny and springy. But uh, this setup here is probably pushing it for this park. Uh, this is a provincial park, and there's nobody around, so I'll probably get away with this. But uh, they don't like to see weird stuff. Uh, there's they allow tents, and that's saying something, because a lot of RV sites and campgrounds won't even allow tents. Uh, they want RVs, not just that, the RVs have to be of a certain age, so like nothing older than 10 years. Uh, so clearly this would not fly in one of those situations. But I'm just uh, kind of doing this to, to show what can be done with what's already probably in your house. And there are some mosquitoes out here, so I'm going to fire up those mosquito coils and I'll show you a little trick with those too. Usually with these things, they have these little stands, they're super hard to separate without breaking them. But uh, maybe I'll be able to do that. Oh boy. Uh, I think we're, we're getting somewhere here. Now we're talking. Yeah. Ha. Okay, usually you stick these on this little thing and you light it and it burns. And uh, that's, that's all fine and good. What I like to do is uh, I'll put down some aluminum foil. And I light both sides so that they, they burn towards each other. Like uh, burning a candle at both ends. That gives you double the, the mosquito killing power per coil. I do have my beloved thermocell at home because that uh, bore a little too much of a resemblance to gear. And we're doing strictly with kind of what you might have kicking around at home. I let these things puff away for a bit and then uh, kill these bugs off and I'll reinforce the 
sleeping structure here a little because uh, there's no wind now but if the wind comes up we're done for. So that was uh, certainly exhausting, uh, setting all that up. And that was step one. Uh, step two, because we're having no gear, so it's not even a cooler, it's just a plastic bag full of ice. Uh, just, just purely pushing the limits of how little I can actually bring for a conventional in the campground camping trip. So uh, yeah, I actually ran into a subscriber in town the other day who uh, purchased these for me. So thank you, Renee, for that. And uh, we'll get to all you other people later when we're having some dinner, and thank you guys all so much. But uh, yeah, these uh, these coils are starting to do their trick. Might have to relight the, the other side of one of them, but... Hmm. Oh yeah, real beer for once, not the cheap stuff. Uh, she wouldn't let me get the cheap stuff. She says you have to have some good beer in one of the videos, so. Thanks again. Brought some firewood from home. I got a couple cords out there for heating the acreage over the winter. And I'm gonna tie this on here on the corners and then the other end to the picnic table. And uh, that'll hold this open and keep the dew off me tonight. Uh, some campgrounds won't let you bring your own firewood. It's not the case here. So we're quite fortunate with that. Uh, no campgrounds around here pretty much at all actually let you wander into the woods and scavenge wood. They really frown on that. But uh, the campgrounds you have may be different, I don't know. Yeah! Just using a rock on the one side and I'll make a little button thing. I saw Joe do this once. Alberta cluster knot it is. going here. Some uh, briquette lighter from the porch uh, should do the job. And that'll make this uh, tiger growl. But some people use kindling. You normally have enough garbage in your car from the drive out, coffee cups and whatever, that it, uh, it's good to burn them up anyhow. A couple of the smaller pieces on there. safer option than gasoline. 
That's all I have to say about that. A few sprinkles of rain coming in and I hope that blows over real soon because this is not exactly a watertight structure by any stretch. And uh, in a completely abandoned loop of this campground, campers have just pulled in to the site right beside me. So that's uh, Murphy's Law there. Um, completely empty site and I got a neighbor, but that's okay, they seem friendly. They're pulling a tent trailer though. And if I haven't voiced my uh, thoughts about tent trailers before, I'm going to do that now. I think they're a horrible Frankenstein contraption that's got the worst of a tent and the worst of an RV combined all into one. You know, you got to set them up and that takes a while. Uh, you got to reverse them into your sights. They don't really offer any protection from animals or bears. And uh, I guess they're light so you can tow them with a car. Well, that seems to be the only pro I can think of as far as a tent trailer goes. And uh, it's mostly RVs around here. That's uh, all I pretty much see. A tent is rare and a hammock is even more rare. And this, I've never seen anything like this before in a campsite in my life. Just the old pan from the kitchen, that's all you need. Use a cheap one or a cast iron one. You don't uh, want to wreck a wedding present or anything. That wouldn't go well, I'm guessing. Anyhow, I'll use a cheap beer in here. And I'm just doing one of my quick and dirty camping favorites. Smoked sausages boiled in beer. It's not that creative and it's not that innovative, but I like the taste and you sure can't beat the convenience. And these are the cheddar cheese variety. Maybe I'll enjoy three with some mustard on a freshly baked bun. I just can't do that factory bread. It's got to be fresh baked the day of uh, the day of purchase. Oh yeah. Yeah, so those camping neighbors that pulled up, they're still setting up that tent trailer probably 45 minutes to an hour later. Uh, this thing took no time at all and even the, the worst tent I've ever had took like half an hour, 45 to set up. That was the one I had in the video um, looking for Bigfoot. So tent trailers are not on my list of, uh, not on my list of things. I think they can hear me talking about them. <laughs> We're losing daylight power here very quickly, so gonna have something to eat. It looks like they finally got the tent trailer set up, so that's awesome. And the hallmark of a fresh baked bun is you can split it open without needing a knife and it doesn't crumble apart like a biscuit. Oh yes, I love it. I didn't bring a flashlight, of course, because uh, that sounds dangerously close to camping gear to me. And this is a strictly household equipment only type of uh, camping trip. So if I do need lights, I'll just flick the headlights onto the car and then we can see what we're doing a little bit better. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, the beer makes it better. But uh, I had a friend we went camping and he used uh, the fresh baked buns I got as a pillow when he slept on the drive out in the back of the car. Mm, I was not happy <laughs> when we got to the site. Got all the burgers made, ready to cut buns and get the toppings on. There was these little pancakes of what used to be buns. Oh, those who know me and my bread will know that was not a very happy trip for me. But. Uh, yeah, it's uh, pretty peaceful out here. There's still just that that one other camper in the whole site. I don't think we're going to see anybody else until probably tomorrow when the weekend campers start to come in. Mm. This is truly the season of camping. Mosquitoes only operate in a very narrow temperature range and we are outside that range right now. And uh, I should be warm enough. And we'll see how that goes. Yeah. So, a, uh, a sleeping bag is not always necessary. You just have to strip the comforter off your marital bed and hope your spouse uh, enjoys the rich, smoky aroma of a campfire when you get back home. So. This all prepared.
Yeah. Oh, this will be just fine. This will be just fine. So before I crawl into this uh, ramshackle contraption for the night, I do have to give uh, my shout outs to people who've donated to the beer fund. And that's a fund that all encompasses things from gear to camping fees uh, to, you know, memory cards, internet to upload this stuff. So thanks, uh, thanks to all you fellows uh, and uh, gals and everybody else. Uh, you're sitting here on my chair beside me because we have to do this over the internet for now until I can get some real actual meetups uh, planned here when things calm down a little bit. But uh, also, I got a message uh, from Daryl Verdett. Uh, Daryl Verdett, you and your son uh, are probably watching this right now and enjoying the videos. And uh, I wanted to express my condolences for your father, Terry Burdett, who passed away last year, uh, who you said would have loved this channel. So it uh, just keep making those good memories with uh, with your son there and hope you guys can get out go camping and, uh, and, and truly, truly build some uh, good times together. So I'm going to uh, crawl into there pretty shortly. I had to turn on the lights on the car so that uh, you could see me. But uh, we used to camp like this all the time. Uh, we'd just crash in the car sometimes, bring nothing, you know, just rely on the picnic bench, uh, picnic table, the grill on the campfire. Uh, we, we've gone with pretty much nothing before. So it's not, uh, not impossible to do, that's for sure. Uh, all the other things just make it a little bit easier, a little more comfortable. Uh, but you, you can really go crazy buying a lot of stuff for camping. And we're trying to take it back for the people here. It's uh, just got to be about getting outside, having some beers, and having a fire. That's, uh, I think that's the whole point of it. Anyway, I'm going to crawl into this, uh, into this bed here. perfect temperature it's like 10 degrees out here or so and uh, maybe a little warmer actually but no mosquitoes we don't have to worry about creepy crawlies around here too much uh, we had a frost uh, a week ago or a few days ago that cleared most of them out so make sure my shoes are underneath of this shower curtain so they don't get wet in case of rain yeah. This will be just fine tonight. And I, uh, I figured out the app on my phone so I can shut the camera off without having to get back out. So see you guys in the morning and uh, thanks for following along on the adventures. Cheers. This is certainly satisfying sleep. Did get a little chilly, I have to say, because uh, I didn't have any uh, foamy or uh, an air mattress underneath of that thing. But definitely, it worked. Uh, time to time to wake myself up a little bit, and then we're gonna make a little bit of uh, breakfast out here, I think. stuff not a mosquito in sight uh, survived the night I don't think the mosquitoes survived it and breakfast is just about to happen just uh, cleaning up the pot here from last night and I'm gonna eat some bacon and some beans for breakfast and just to make things extra healthy and choke down one of these too so, uh, I get these bacon ends 
uh, just the particles of bacon that doesn't make it to the to the real strips and that's good because I just cut it up anyways so uh, it's a good value for sure and uh, throw in some beans Beans, bacon, and banana. Um, I'll get to this later. Anyhow, this campground is fully booked as of a few hours from now. So I gotta get out of here before the uh, weekend warriors make their way in. It is the last uh, long weekend of the year. So it's bound to be expected. Uh, you know, things have changed this year a little bit as far as the campground's concerned. I'm not a fan of a couple of the changes, you know, as far as I can see, the only B in the car is that they've switched it to a 100% reserved campsite, so you got to book online and reserve ahead of time. It's not the end of the world, however, they charge a $12 reservation fee, so instead of just saying we're going to raise all the prices on the campsites, 12 bucks, they've snuck it in like a... Uh, a reservation fee however it, and you have to have a credit card and this is a public uh, provincial park like this is literally public land and to be able to go camping you need a credit card it's not a problem for me now but back in the days when I lived in my RV uh, nobody in the right mind would give me a credit card so you know I can understand it might be frustrating for some people that uh, want to go enjoy public land but uh, they may not have a credit card so there's there's always those things but could get through the rest of this uh, breakfast such a difference adding like real bacon into the beans oh okay I, I got a pig out here guys uh, but uh, we'll get this thing torn down in a sec there gotta get back home mm. Mm. is that good It can be done. Camping with household items. No gear. And it's just the beginning, you know, like, you can really use your imagination as far as what to bring. Originally, before I remembered this thing, uh, this uh, beach lounger, we were going to use, uh, I was just going to bring out a beanbag chair because we got a nice big beanbag chair, but. Uh, I guess as long as you keep things dry, uh, there's no limit to, to what you can do as far as uh, camping with household stuff. <laughs> so, until next time, uh, if you like this stuff and you haven't yet, uh, consider clicking on it. Uh, uh, thanks for watching. We got. The raft trip coming up, uh, we're just waiting on that trolling motor before we can start uh, heading down the river. And uh, always something a little bit different, uh, but just a little bit. Thanks for watching, guys. You have been camping with Steve.